Jeff Filke, I'm the technology uh, instructor here, classics instructor, uh, Project Lead the Way, Gateway to Technology instructor. Uh, we're at Brown Deer Middle School here in Brown Deer, Wisconsin. I've been involved with uh, Society of Plastics Engineers and the Education Foundation here in the Milwaukee area for about 20 years now, uh, working with them on getting them to assist with materials, grants, uh, awards, machines, whatever needed to be to increase plastics education in our schools. Uh, when I came here in 2001, we decided to increase the plastics education program, starting getting machines donated and, and materials, uh, having grants so we could buy the molds, and we started with simple processes, uh, and then now we've increased it to the point of now we're recycling our own materials and reusing them to make uh, projects for the students. In seventh and eighth grade, uh, we're utilizing Injection molding, that's part of the recycling projects that we're doing. We're doing uh, vacuum forming or thermal forming as they call it now uh, for doing uh, shell designs or transportation where we make a mold and the kids vacuum form over the top of it. Uh, we're doing rotational molding where we can do like balls and footballs. We do static casting where I'm using a powder plastic and that's another area where I can use a recycled plastic to make like football tees, door stops. Uh, we use plastisol, which is a liquid plastic for doing also uh, plastisol casting. We do dip casting into liquid plastic and then it gets hard after we put it back in the oven. We also do expansion molding where we can use styrofoam beads. Uh, we've done a little bit of chemical reaction where we're mixing an A and a B plastic together, kind of like epoxy, and the kids create a uh, clear plastic where they can encase items in the middle of it. For instance, like the golf tee game is one of the projects that the 8th grade uh, were actually doing their injection molding of their tees today. Uh, we do fiberglass clipboards as part of that resin uh, laminating too. So it, it's kind of a variety of a, a multiple, of, I think around 12 different processes uh, between the 6th, 7th, and 8th grade uh, classes. We're the only middle school in the state, if not the Midwest, doing the amount of plastics technology and processing uh, with different materials. I would compare this to probably any high school in the state of Wisconsin that we're doing um, more plastics technology and processing uh, where the kids are doing so many different types of things uh, in the actual program.